what's up you guys welcome back to black sheep family and artism my name is nicole if you're new here if you're new here still, go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell be down to gang 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 so i decided that i was going to talk about oh yeah and i'm in a car y'all because this is the only quiet place and y'all probably see this outfit a couple of times during the week but i had to do my pre-recording now so y'all can get y'all videos up three to four times a week so my bad but yeah they are different videos about different topics i just got on the same outfits because i'm recording the same day it's called pre-recording okay yeah yeah i know i'm goofy so yeah so i wanted to do this video to so i have wanted to do this video to talk to you guys about service dogs that i'm thinking about getting julian the price of service dogs and just give y'all some information about how you can get a service dog the difference between a service dog and emotion support animal hopefully hopefully that's what that's why I need that's why that's why right there because i'm already going over words and just slow down and speak <sighs> okay so i'm here to talk to you guys about emotional support animals and service dogs the difference i didn't know it was a difference uh no lie so emotional support dog is basically for someone that needs emotional support a service animal is a dog that actually does a service for a person or child hmm makes sense now i'm gonna start here all 50 states in the united states of america child you can get any type of service dog or emotional support dog of any breed any pit bull is included in it like people act like they don't be doing the laws but bro it's a whole law whether the dog is banned from that city or not that's what is the loop is if it's a service dog like that's how you get around there if it's a service dog <coughs> then um if it's a service animal then you can still have the dog that's kind of how that works duh but it's some people that think people don't know laws and stuff like that um but yeah you can look this law up too you guys you can do some research i've been doing research on it so with that being said as far as with the uh service animals and emotion support animals emotion support animal like you can take it places or whatever but like far as like stores it's kind of up to the store whether they're gonna be like nah you and your dog gotta go type thing most people really don't trip but it's some people that be like well if it's not a service animal they don't want it in my store and they have the right to do that now with a service animal though uh, uh, like say for instance we're just gonna use my husband for example and me we both have ptsd we go get a service dog for ptsd you don't know what that dog service is towards me i can walk in and look just fine they don't supposed to turn me or my dog around uh because it's a um, disability act that they have passed so you cannot sit here and like be like nah you can't bring that dog in here blah 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 this blah 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 well, it's really illegal af and you can sue the pants out of a restaurant and just FYI, in case y'all don't know, I'm just here to sprinkle a little knowledge, a little education up on you guys. Okay. So, yeah. With that being said, I saw my oldest son had PTSD, in case I didn't say that earlier. But with that being said, emotional support. I also, you get with, with apartments, with um, service dogs. Because, see, emotional support dogs, people can kind of, you know, Emotional support animals, people can kind of wiggle around emotional support animals. But a service animal or a service dog, um, and I'm going to stick with service dogs because that's what I will get in. That's pretty much what I titled the video. My, uh, apartments can't charge you a pet fee. They can't charge you a pet deposit. They can't do none of that because the dog is, it has to be there. It's providing a service to somebody. Legally, even if the property is like, I saw i'm not a lawyer i'm not a none of that type of stuff i just kind of want to anybody that's thinking about getting a service dog or don't know their rights for a service dog i kind of just want to spread some light i will say check with your states but in the state of arkansas in most states with that disability act they cannot tell you that even if it's a household and they'd be like no pets are allowed like if they if they approve you let's say they approve you and then uh you forget to put on your application or anything like that and be like, I have a service dog and all of a sudden you're not approved. You can sue the hell out that landlord. I, I wouldn't want to say that no way because you just, you know, child. And mainly, you know, you get, 
you can sue them and be like they was discriminating you or discriminating against you or whatever because you have a uh service animal and they didn't want pets and that thing but you know service animals are not considered like regular just i want to pet pets they like actually doing something so i want to talk uh, i want to touch on some of the things that service dogs can do people with seizures uh like service dogs are cool i see what i call them men's best friends stuff like that people with seizures or whatever dogs can sense the um chemicals in a body that can be trying to sense the chemicals in your body and know that you're finna have a seizure and alert somebody that you're finna have a seizure they can lay down so that you won't bump your head like they're actually there to do a service for a person type thing seizures people that had diabetes or um what is that called oh my god uh it helped people with narcolepsy too but seizures narcolepsy uh, diabetes you know when you have diabetes your blood should get too high or too low and stuff like that like the dogs can sense your chemicals in your body to kind of alert you or somebody else that you you probably need to take your medicine or something like that like that's a service dog a service dog can help people with ptsd whether it's just you know it's kind of like emotional but it's still like service because they you know they know when somebody they know when someone's uncomfortable basically they can kind of divert your attention from like having a whole panic attack in your body to like the dog or whatever which that's providing a service with kids with autism people may not know this but kids with autism can get a service dog and what service they do for kids with autism is and this is mainly what i want to talk about because y'all know i gotta chat with autism julian will dart out and run like phew, and y'all know with me and that's why i say i would never take my kids nowhere by myself like i do it when i have to like somebody have to be sick and i have to do it like it's the only time i do it because jackson might be on spectrum with jackson most kids will wait for you to open up the door and stuff like that like both of them will just take off in two totally different directions it's like i got irish twins and it's like bro and both y'all might be well one of you are on the spectrum the other one might be on spectrum so i don't even know if you even know better so the dog like how they, how that works is the dog will walk with the kid you you take the you take the dog and harness because i was thinking leash y'all but you take the dog harness that's like around their whole body and loop it around your kid waist or whatever they pants or whatever that way your kid the dog is basically gonna stop your kid from just running away um so it helps you not have your kid on amber alert an amber alert so it helps you with that um with a child with autism it helps them from just starting off or whatever it's like oh my god like because if a car's coming like i know that julian has no fear so he will just run directly into the car julian like water he's not scared to when jay took him fishing y'all know kids with autism have no fear they they don't have no sense of that's dangerous let me not do that Ooh, that's water like julian would literally walk into the lake jay was like dude i was trying to see how far he was gonna go and like when he got to the water he was gonna just keep walking so like you have that because kids with autism most kids with autism i'm not gonna say all but most kids with autism will dart out they have no sense of fear kids with autism will wonder kids with autism don't know no strangers <laughs> like um yeah they have no fear of water most kids with autism love water though like julian loves water he loves sand some kids with autism don't even like sand though i have seen kids not like the texture and feel of like sand Julian loves sand. He'll ride his car. He'll playing sand for hours, y'all. Like, he's, like, obsessed with, like, sand, water, and stuff like that. So, with that being said, y'all, the dog will help you keep up with your kid, help keep your child safe or whatever. Um, also, it's kids that... Okay, I'm going to say this, too. It's kids that are in school, and the dog help them socialize. Because y'all know kids with autism are antisocial AF. Like, they have no problem with being in their own little bubble, their own little cocoon. They don't want you messing with them. They will walk through you like you're an object and like you're not even a person. They don't interact with other people. So, the dog, you know, who don't like a dog? Like, all kids love puppies and all kids love dogs. So, it helps a kid. Like, let's just not say Julian age, but let's just say, like, he gets to school, like, elementary. It'll help him be social because everybody's going to want to compare the dog. Everybody's going to want to <laughs> play with the dog. What I will say is, I don't... <clears throat> dang y'all what i will say is i don't under i don't not understand i don't know how um 
how to how to like you know when the dog when people pet dogs and a service dog i don't know if a service dogs get excited and like forget that they're like servicing because it's still a dog so like when they get pet they get excited and stuff like that and you know you're not supposed to touch service animals and oh yeah and somebody watching this and y'all don't know that if y'all see that a dog's a service dog don't touch that person's service dog duh like i expect kids to not know this but full adults that see dogs that have say service dog don't touch that dog like that dog is on a job it's trying not to be distracted and like some dogs you know they go through their training and stuff like that but it's like it's still a dog so let that dog do what it's doing because let's just say that this person uh let's say keisha blood sugar got low and the dog over here playing with you and rolling over while you panic it, it haven't it is not paying attention to sense the fact that your blood sugar is dropping and you could faint and fall out because you over here distracting the dog from their job sis ma'am sir lot this dog could be helping some uh, kid that has uh, autism with the anxiety to even be in a store to be in public. And this dog attention is off of this kid and this kid is going to have a whole attack and have a whole temper tantrum. Sir, ma'am, thank you. Move, move out the way. So, yeah, you have that for kids with autism. Also, like kids who are it's whole, it helps them socially, it helps them in environments, it helps them not, it helps them with safety. And also, like most people that have kids with autism or most people with autism have a difficult time going to sleep. It's been shown, you know, research have shown, and like I said, it's other videos I heard that shown that those dogs actually help the kids calm down, relax, and like go to sleep yeah, for whatever strange reason the kids go to sleep with the uh dog in there with them so the dog let them lay on them and keep them company and keeps them calm um uh, the, re the research that i have seen about service dog and the videos i've seen with people that have kids because i haven't seen a person that has autism i have seen people that have kids that have autism and have a service dog and it helps them so that's the only reason why i'm steady referring to this as like for kids so yeah it's, it's been great research yeah i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the prices i have been seeing for service dogs has been ridiculous like to me it's something that's needed it's something that will benefit my son it's something that will benefit the whole family y'all and I, i'm not gonna say all of them but these service dogs are anywhere between twenty thousand to forty thousand dollars like who got the coins, sis? Most of the time, they're a golden retriever or something like that. I like golden retrievers. Jay don't like them because he was like, they other people type of dogs. I'm like, bruh, I know you did not just say that. I, I know you didn't just say that. But like, they, they normally use like a golden retriever because golden retrievers are easier to train. It's people, it's organizations that take the dogs into, um, they get the dogs from their puppies and they train them. And all dogs don't make it outside of that training window type thing um also you, well, i was gonna say you do have some companies that like will donate dogs and stuff like that to you but then you also have companies that want you to like pay for it and be on waiting list and yeah that's a new car man i don't have it like that like yes it i feel like it'll benefit my child yes i think it will help him out but ma'am like who has the coin for that like i don't have a coin for that and like i see on there that if they don't donate the dog to you and if you don't pay for it then you could try to fundraise the money and stuff like that <sighs> that's difficult yeah i know that it's coming around a time for christmas and i had wanted to get julian a service dog for christmas but when i seen that they want you to not only do i think a 25 dollar application fee for the ones that are like well we can fundraise it they want you to do a twenty-five dollar application fee, and then they want to turn around and charge you two hundred dollars for the application for you to hope maybe that you could raise the money to get the dog. And I know that there are like I don't understand that because like these companies supposed to be like nonprofits, so it'd be like how are you a nonprofit but you charging people that need this service? Like most nonprofits are providing a service to people. Say for instance, I started a nonprofit and I want to help people in help people over here you know um what do you call it i want to help people over here get their kids winter coats i want to start a winter coat drive i'm gonna take donations and go buy that coat i'm not gonna have somebody do a ten dollar application do a five dollar application fee and pay me 25 dollars to get you a coat that may be two or three hundred dollars like how what if they could afford to get the coat they would just get the coat like 
any type of code. It could be a Walmart code, a fifteen dollar, twenty dollar code. They they kids just need a code. So most nonprofits raise the money. They go to certain places. I'm not just gonna get into the whole nonprofit because I, I really don't want to. But they basically get funding for their nonprofit yearly or five years, ten years, however that they contracted to get that funding from wherever they get their funding from. So to me, it's like, how are you a non How do you even legally have a name of a nonprofit when you're not a nonprofit? Like, that's not a nonprofit because you're charging me $20,000. And like, and that's something that, yeah, that's on the low end, $20,000. And it's like, and I noticed also, it's a lot of places like everywhere but Arkansas has this program. So if y'all in Arkansas and y'all are watching this thing, please come out with a nonprofit that trains service dogs for kids with autism, with kids that have diabetes, with kids with narcolepsy, with people with PTSD. And it's a lot of, and I, I want to say that too, it's a lot of companies that train dogs for um, PTSD for veterans. But what about anybody else? Like it's, it's like, I know of like five to 10 places that will train your uh, dog to be a, a service dog for the veterans, which is tight because I feel like they don't give veterans enough for everything that they have gave us and our freedom and everything that they fought for. Let me listen to me sounding all, uh, what do you call it? Listen to me sounding all patriotic and shit, patriotic and stuff. Y'all like, mm, this ain't patriotic. I'm just saying, but like, I feel like they should do more for their veterans. I do feel like that, but yeah, it's a, a few companies for that. But like when I asked about that, people be like, Oh, what? for what like is that a thing like and it's like uh yes it's, it's it's a thing type thing also with these service dogs normally you need a prescription rope or a prescription sign with getting a service dog for your child with um i was gonna say ptsd with autism or whatever but my our doctor's pretty good with signing stuff that's going to benefit me or the kids like she i'm like i want to not throw no shade but let's just say it's a children's hospital, uh, a big children's hospital that you would think will have programs like this. They don't have any type of thing for kids with autism. The DDC that uh, the DDC that diagnosed them with it don't really have nothing for like service dogs to help people with autism. The DDC is the only place in um, Arkansas that can diagnose your child with uh, autism. Uh, I didn't know that child. Even a cobalt center in Children's Hospital, Arkansas Children's Hospital, can't diagnose your kid with autism. I didn't know that. But a hospital does um, have a lot of kids stuff. And it's not just this particular hospital, but it is the main one. It's supposed to be the best. I can't stand the hospital, y'all. But it's like places that specialize with kids and stuff like that. That's what I should say. It's hospitals that specialize with kids that does not like recognize this. And I'm shocked because they they do a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, but I said I'd like to say that service dogs are legal. I feel like they will help somebody, uh, help uh, people that have kids with autism. Um, if y'all know, like share this video with anybody that like any good uh, company that's actually good, that actually uh, donate dogs that don't be like, and I know before I even wrap this up, I know it's going to be somebody in here like, well, if you can't afford $250 or $225 for a dog, you don't need the dog because you can't take care of it. Like, no, sis. Like, I can't afford that for a maybe dog. Like, that, that, that's, the, that's the problem. It, it, it's a maybe dog. Like, it's if you can raise up this much money and if you can do that. It's not like, okay, you pay this and you're going to be on a waiting list and and at this time, we had this dog and we should have, we're going to have a batch of dogs and they're going to get trained and blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Like, it's a whole maybe is why it's like, uh, nah, nope. Mm -mm. So I'll share this out to anybody that actually donate dogs that are trained. Uh, I have seen on YouTube, it's like three or four places that I've seen on YouTube that the dogs are trained. They show the pictures with the kids. There's people that did videos. But a lot of parents that I see that have the dogs, they the dogs were donated to them. Like, they didn't have that money. But they was like, my child needed it, but they did not have the money. So I want to educate anybody that does not know that you can, you know, get a service dog for your kid that has autism. Like, I'm not saying just go out and, oh, my kid have autism. Like, they need a service dog. Like, they might not, but I'm pretty sure that they they will. You know what I'm saying? Like, it helps them have a companion. Some people, 
they don't some kids don't show interest and stuff like that but juju love dogs he love chase him and jackson at some time but i think juju would do i think it would really benefit julian to have a dog for his uh autism what else is i gonna say so yeah share out the video if y'all know if y'all see these companies in these youtube streets and these companies have twitters share this video out so thank you see here and be like oh you know what that is a good story and this family does need it and we we can help or we would want to help we might help we don't know sis we gotta we gotta thoroughly do an interview on you we don't like no nah, i'm just playing y'all but nah for real share it out to any of those companies i'm gonna share that on my twitter i'm gonna get jay to share this video out on his twitter uh i hope it's educated somebody that kid have autism because i didn't know about it like like i said when you get the diagnosis from your kid and they have autism people don't tell you like the doctors don't even tell you what would benefit them like they have recommended a daycare for julian and they have recommended yeah that's it a daycare uh they didn't even recommend uh ava or nothing like that or a service dog that because you you will probably start saying they didn't they didn't recommend none of it um now what i did find out is uh at our next appointment which is here in two more months they will talk to us and go over all this stuff with us or if we have any concerns or any questions they will go over there with us but at this point i don't know so yeah my bad that the video is long but y'all know that i like to thoroughly explain to y'all about something that i have information on because i don't be want to forget nothing and normally when i turn off the camera i still be something that i be forgetting or when i go back and edit i'd be like dang i forgot to say this i didn't say that and like y'all i think it's just like a perfectionist because i don't be wanting nobody to leave my video and still have questions especially when it's a longer video like this one and i know it's some people that have 30 minute videos and hour videos and stuff like that and it's interesting to people but i'm not gonna lie i only watch people that's like an hour long as if they're live and we're talking or if they premiered a uh thing and we're talking so yeah even though you know this 23 minutes 24 minutes is just like y'all watching a tv show i don't be trying to take it like too too long um I think that's all I can really think of with the service dogs. So y'all, I'm trying to talk quiet AF. So I'm gonna have to turn this up because Jackson is up and he's tripping. But I'm in a bathroom. But what I was gonna say that I forgot to say earlier is not only is it a $250 application fee to hopefully and maybe get a puppy for uh, due to autism and stuff like that, it's a $250 application fee per application like it's more than one company that does that and the companies that i've seen that i've seen like actual testimonies that i would actually even trust like those dogs was like i said twenty and thirty thousand dollars twenty to forty thousand dollars and uh it's at least four or five of them so that doing that a couple of times yeah because i would have did it enough to, i would have did enough of them so Julian could even have a chance on any of them because I don't know how any of them work. Like I said, people normally donate those dogs from them. Them services normally donate dogs and they have too many dogs and people not buying them. I guess then they donate them. I'm not sure. I don't know if you reach out to somebody to get it donated or put on the list or put on the waiting list. But yeah, and like I said, it's not a lot of people that know a lot about it. I know two companies are out of California and they are like, twenty to thirty thousand dollars the other three companies i said that was twenty to forty thousand dollars so it gets up there but yeah i want to say that it ain't just two hundred fifty dollars for one application well it's two hundred fifty dollars per application but if you're applying for multiple places like i would do because i want my child to have the best possibility to get it like that that's gonna add up and don't have the coin for this I, I just don't have a coin for that and those uh puppies or the dogs like, and I, I did see on there, like, where the person would travel to you uh, with the companies that I forgot to say in the video, that the companies that does this, the nonprofits that do this, they travel to you for free. So even though the companies that I was looking at are based out in California, like, they still will travel to you for free and show you how to, you know, uh, command the dog and all that stuff. And also... If anybody was wondering, like, how would the dog help Julian from running away or running down the steps and stuff like that that he has did, um, the dog is going to stay with you. Like, the dog is trying to stay with you to keep the kids safe. So that's how that works as well if you had, like, a question on that. But I think that pretty much summed up, like, all of the loose ends that I didn't cover in the video.
What? Only two young men? Also, with kids with PTSD, I have not researched really what the dogs do for kids with PTSD or people with PTSD because I have mainly been trying to get Julian. I have been trying to work with Julian so he could speak, so he could be like a normal functioning child. And I know some people that have kids with autism or like my kid is normal. We just got to get down to his world. Like I understand that we're trying to do that too, but I, I just want him to be happy and have as much support as he can have and stuff like that much support as much support and love as he can have a one who wants that child to have so yeah see you guys on the next video i hope this video was educational i hope this video opened up your horizons also with y'all watching my channel as far as with somebody with autism i hope it actually do educate y'all about people with autism like no one wants the diagnosis that that kid has autism like no one wants that so i really do hope this helps someone but Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Be blessed. Peace.